is located on Bruni Island. This site has been a working sheep farm for many decades. From the outset, it was a simple brief of a three bedroom house, but at the same time, our clients wanted to be able to accommodate their entire family. We looked at really old traditional ways of accommodating people and the old sleep out verandas, transferring that idea into a colder climate and creating bay window beds along the north facade and secret beds hidden behind cupboards so that you don't need to build an entire bedroom. They're just sort of tucked into small bays and people can almost camp in the house. When it came to placing the house on the site, we wanted to be more elevated to get a longer view towards the bay and towards the mountains, and at the same time have a really good northerly aspect to the living areas to ensure we had ample sunlight throughout the year. Bringing natural light into this home is really imperative to ensure that we had a really good passive solar gain. This is a very cold climate, so using the sun as much as possible in the heating of the house and the lighting of the house was really important. Looking at the upper level attic spaces, they're study spaces and a spare bedroom, so they were more suited to being orientated towards the south so that we had more diffused light. The main living spaces are quite large double height spaces which are really following the roof form from outside. We didn't want to have too many decorative lights on the ceiling so we designed some really simple exposed globe fittings and really they're the only form of lighting in the main space. There are very simple almost traditional lighting forms in the space. We really wanted to carefully plot the view towards Little Taylor's Bay. And the way the windows are framed, these very strong bays actually create defined framed views of the bay. But then stepping back, you get this huge panorama, which is pretty spectacular. The house has very simple, cost-effective materials, and it's really in the detailing that elevates them to a higher level. The exterior is generally clad in corrugated metal. The interior of the house is simply lined in a plywood, except in the dining space where we wanted to create a defined space. And there we used, again, a very economical material called corrugated polycarbonate. Behind that, we've actually lined it with additional insulation from the wool of the sheep themselves. And so that creates what we call a wool fresco over the dining area. It's created the most interesting and strong connection between the house and the farm and the resident sheep. Choosing the colour for the house was almost subconscious in many ways. When you come to Bruni Island and you look around, there's all these incredible old red lead painted shacks. We wanted to just slightly twist that colour and use a colour called Terrain which had a stronger, slightly earthier colour, which connected it directly to the earth on the site. We were constantly looking towards the history of the island. Part of the connection to place is not just directly on the site, but throughout the journey, constantly subverting what you think it is and then twisting it so it becomes something else. When we designed this house, we wanted to ensure that it was zero maintenance. There's no gutters on this house, so that there is no issue of leaks or water penetration in the house. That's a really important part of the longevity of the house, ensuring that nothing is going to deteriorate, nothing is going to fall apart, nothing is going to leak. What I'm most proud of with Coopworth is its connection to site and understanding and getting a sense of the whole of Bruni Island and drawing that into the site 
and also drawing the history of our client and their connection to Bruni Island into the place. It's a very layered building. This The Local Project video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Seamlessly design and elevate your unique online offering with member-only areas. Create a virtual library of classes, tutorials, articles and more. Manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights, all on one platform. Squarespace offers easy and effortless ways to monetize your creative content. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial to explore your creative potential. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash thelocalproject to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain.